Okay, so I have read um, the first part, so uh, 129 pages. I'm about to start the part two thing. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting from this book. I don't think I was expecting anything. Since, um, what's it called? The Final Strife and Battle Drum, which were so easy to read. Um, I mean, they have a complex ish world understandable but there's a lot of like things to it so, but still those are very easy <laughs> those are very easy to read so i think i was kind of expecting that as well don't get me wrong it's easy to read but <laughs> the beginning the beginning was like being thrown into a middle of a war and you're just standing there with no armor no weapons no nothing and you're like what the fuck? What is happening? Help! Um, I had no bloody clue what the hell was going on, but it, it took, I think it, it took a couple of pages, not a couple of, I think it took a couple of chapters, the first couple of chapters before, um, understanding what was going on. So, good, good thing is, the chapters are short, um, so, yay see so far we've had just two povs i don't know if there's more povs but we've had i can't say these names but um so we have Lettle, which is the younger sister and then yiran yiran is that how you say it yiran i'm gonna say yiran we've had those two perspectives <sighs> And we found some things out. Yura was exiled from the army, so she's been exiled from, well, where she's from, the land she's from. She's been, like, tossed out into the woods, basically. Her sister has gone after her, um, but also a, a, a dude um, who's either, either called, like, Ryan or Ryan? I don't know. I can't pronounce things, okay? Anyway, um, so this Ryan, Ryan dude, um, he was Yiran's captain and she was colonel. So she sort of like uh, told him to go look after my sister while I'm not here. End of. Uh, and her sister, Lettle, decides to, you know, go after Yiran because that's what we do. And then Ryan... Ray and Ryan follows her. <laughs> uh, so now they're all out in the wilderness and they've kind of, so they have this, so they're supposed to be, so long time ago there were humans and fae and elves. Now these Ray and, Ray and Lettle and Yiren, <laughs> oh my god, they're all elves um, and that's what they think is like left of everything because they haven't seen anyone else uh for millennia and the last they heard uh so there's this story about uh the last human because the fae all killed off uh the humans by eating them or something interesting stuff uh but now the elves have found some fae and things are about to go crazy so like the last thing of uh, the first part is that Yiren is sort of like bonded with one of the Obia, Ob Obeas, I don't know what, th these creatures that the Fae has and the Fae gets their magic from being bonded with an Ob Obia, Obia, I don't know, um, and also learns, like, it just get into the head somehow, uh, the whole Fae language, so if you're not, uh, bonded with one of these creatures, you you can't speak Fae. Well, you can if you learn, but it doesn't come easily to you. You have to work at it, you know, because <laughs> some, some people have to work at things. <laughs> now somehow Yiren, an elf, has bonded with this little creature who, the last thing she says, because they can, like, sort of like the dragons in Fourth Wing, they speak in their heads, um... And I'm not, and I'm not sure if they're different. If it's just like the creature can only speak with the bonded elf in this case, or the fae, uh, or if they can like cross cr cross speak with the people. I don't know. Um, very little is known so far. We've only found this out. 
Um, so it's, I mean, it's interesting, but also, what's happening? I don't know. It's so hot, and all the bugs are out. Anyway, not while while we're here. I know it's still happening. Not not why we're here. Wow. Okay. So they bound. I now read um part two. So I have read. 293 pages so part two so far the one part i think i've been the most bored at um the whole gang is in Feyland. that's one way to call it it's called what's it called moss mossima moss mush mushy 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 land Feyland. um so the whole gang is in Feyland. they technically prisoners but again so are the fey um because of the curse the curse the humans did the last human so many things to keep track of anyway so everyone's in Feyland, and it's a great opportunity to learn things and they do they do learn bits and pieces here and there but i feel we could have like explored more and learned even more about like the curse and uh, the phase and the connection between the obia, ob obia, the, the creatures. <laughs> Me with words? No. <laughs> um, I felt like we could have explored so much more and learnt so much more in this part um, because it's a perfect opportunity for it. And it fell a bit flat. We learned very, 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 very little um and i'm hoping in the next part well i think pretty sure the third part is going to be the last part because um, i mean this pit bit here has been part one too that's all that's left of the book but again it's a series so we'll see what happens in like book two i suppose but first off we're going to see what happens in part three and i'm hoping we get a bit of conclusion to like the first bit but also like set it up for my tea mug <laughs> no sets it up for part part no sets it up for book two those were probably the right words in some form of order i got confused when i knocked my tea mug yeah anyway let's see what part three has to say this heat okay it's messing with my brain it's messing with so many things but i'm not even me anymore <laughs> despite the heat even though it's slightly cooler now because it's night time i need this cup of tea okay i need it badly so this is upside down i have finished Feybound, and i'm just putting the cover on it oh no Hang on, hang on, hang on. Bam! Just want to say before I actually forget about it, but um, in the end of the book, uh, there is Little's a prophecy journal, or what they're using it for now is notes on Mossima. So it's um, it's like um what's it called scanned in pages basically um and what these pages are uh, they're not really what they say they are in the book i wouldn't say uh they're more like elves uh and they're more like i want to call it a pronunciation guide but that's really not what it is uh like an appendix um where like they've divided in so they have elves and they have all the elves that's like relevant to the story and then the fae and uh the obia o obia still don't know how to say that um the humans the gods the terms which is very handy with like added on so the the characters have like written I don't know if you can see here, like added their little, I don't know, annotation to the, to the whole thing. Um, I appreciate that. Honestly, it's definitely not something you should read before reading the book because it will spoil the book. Uh, but reading it afterwards, uh, when you have like all the facts and figures, it was fun. It was it was actually very nice. It's something that going into the next book, it could be like, 
he's he hasn't like it doesn't really say much of the story as a whole but here's an abbreviated thing of the characters and things um basically that's it so that you can like memorize not memorize you can uh remember the characters from book one in this case this book and i looked it up so the second book is going to be called Cursebound, unless anything changes from now to then and is set to come out on february 18th in 2025 so not too long like half a year a little more than half a year i had to figure out what damn month i'm in um a little more than half a month H half a month half a year am i getting tired possibly yeah so finish the book summarization of the book because i can't really say much about part three without you know spoiling things and i think i've managed to keep it as spoil free uh, as i can and still talk about the book i'm pretty sure i haven't edited up the video until now so i don't know yet we'll see when i get to it <laughs> anyway so Feybound thoughts as a whole I like it but <laughs> there's that but again oh I feel like I'm going blind as a whole I like it but I felt at times that there were things missing like in like I mentioned in like the second part of the book they go and like they have a chance to learn a bunch of things like the law, uh, about the people, about the land, about themselves, about, I don't know, everything. And I didn't feel like they learnt enough. I felt like there was like a little bit more that could have been like just a little bit. And then there were certain situations that were so obvious on who the, let's say, culprit is. Um, or who's involved in the situation and the people that are in the room as it were that's when the thing is being talked about they're not like picking up the the things and they should know these things and I was like hang on it was so obvious and I was like dude where's your head at listen to what's happening around you and you could have actually solved this problem <laughs> long before anyone else. Yes, yes, very much. Some things are lacking and I can't really put my finger on like what it is I want more from it, except for the information part. They could have gained more. Uh, and the third part went so fast. Um, there's like a bit of a showdown that's where you get from like the third act of a play is that what you get in the third act of a play third act of a book the last part of a book you usually get a showdown of some kind and we do but it's also a way to be continued and i mean for a book that's in a series it's good to have that to be continued stay tuned for the next episode that's in six plus months uh or whatever however if i wasn't me and just like needed to know more just in general because i've started it i finished the book it was so easy to read and i do want to know what happens next but i feel like for someone else this book will not have been as gripping and perhaps it's gonna lose readers that way maybe because it's too easy but also it's not it's it's vast the whole like land of things the story the myth behind the legend as it were it's quite vast but is it intriguing enough to keep readers going on to the next book unless you're a reader like myself who just needs everything i don't really know how to dnf books um so it doesn't really happen it has happened but it doesn't really happen and when it's a book like this when it's easy to read it's hard for me to like stop reading it because it's so easy why would i stop reading an easy book 
Um, but for someone else who's more, I guess, a hardcore reader, I read a lot, but I'm not that, like, hardcore of a reader. I feel for someone like that, this book will have lost them a long time ago, and not just by the end of the book, by, like, in the beginning, middle of the book. Um, they would have been like, this story is not going anywhere, and they would have left it up. So I'm curious to see what other people think of this book. So I liked it, but there's, there's too, poten too much potential for growth, and growth that maybe should have been in book one, but also what will happen in book two. It's supposed to be a trilogy, so there's at least two more books coming. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. Bye.